Hi everyone, I'm Melissa June Raleigh coming to you from the Digital Media Zone of the United Nations for WISIS. Joining me is Joseph Aladef, who is the chair of the Digital Economy Commission for the International Chamber of Commerce. And Joseph recently led one of the side room session panels here at the UN. What was that your topic about? Well, we, it was a round table on essentially uh, achieving the sustainable development goals in Africa and the role of ICT. Is that, that's a very ubiquitous topic, looking at all the 17 goals in ICT. What, what were some of the key points that you took away from the discussion? Well, I think one of, the, one of the first key goals was that while ICT may be directly implicated in four of the goals, ICT actually supports all 17 of the goals. So that was actually one of the major takeaways. I think one of the other major elements was that ICT was for change the transformative nature of ICT, if you will. And the idea being that ICT supports uh, solutions in agriculture, solutions in education, solutions in environment, uh, solutions in transportation management, uh, waste management, et cetera, et cetera. And the roles for ICT are completely applicable across developing economies. I think the other major theme that came out was also the concept that it had to be sustainable. So previously we've had projects where it's a defined project, the defined point in time, and then the question of whether there's any growth or development from that is never really measured. So the other aspect that came out was also measurement. So it's not just a question of did you have a project, does the project continue, but can you measure the fact that the project has been a success? And also the concept of the use of uh, various technologies and helping the measurement was also there. So data, was data a big driving point of this conversation? The use of data and technology, but the use of data and technology to empower people to make decisions. Mm -hmm. And that last link is essential because data and technology by themselves are insufficient if they're not allowing you to make the decisions and to help you move the country in a progressive manner towards the goals you are achieving. Based on what you heard and discussed today, where do you think we need the most help with ICT? I mean, it, it applies to all the goals, but what are the biggest issues that you think ICT, ICT can really have an impact? Well, actually, I, I think it is an across-the-board concept, yeah. and the question really is for the country or the economy to determine what its greatest need is and then to apply ICT to the goals that are most relevant to that need earliest on because I think there, tailoring the use of the ICT to the needs of the country becomes tremendously important. Okay. Joseph, thank you so much. My pleasure, thank you. My name is Torbjörn Fredriksson, and I'm responsible for UNCTAD's work on ICT for development. It's very good to be here in New York for this climax of this process of reviewing the first 10 years of the World Summit on the Information Society. We're very committed at UNCTAD to ensure now that we can leverage the information and communication technologies as we move towards the implementation of the 2030 development agenda. For us at ANCTA, the ICT is crucial in the area of trade, economic development, and entrepreneurship and innovation. So we're looking forward to the next 10 years.